So today I want to talk about compositions and location scouting. So I've come out three times this week to get a location that I want to take some images in. I've tried to stay a little bit local this week just because I've got a lot going on and didn't really have the time to come out like doing long distance journeys, going in down, down into Cornwall or whatnot. What's going to be an acceptable amount of times to come out without getting a photo or a composition that you like the look of? Now the woods up here, I like the look of the trees, but at the wrong time of year. So autumn when all the leaves are falling off, could be pretty good in those woods. At the moment it's very overcast, there's no sunlight coming through, so it's a really dull day. I could probably whip the macro lens out and get some macro shots, but again the light's not the greatest. So I say it a lot but for me it's just about getting out once you're out the door you completely change your mindset on sitting around the house if you're not doing anything you've got nothing to do and you're just moping about doing nothing watching telly whatever you're doing and then you get out it completely changes your mindset so mental health wise it's just good to get out on that basis and whether you get an image or whether you get you know just a bit of fresh air and a nice walk then it's just a bonus if you get a nice image so i'm gonna head back up the hill I suppose the question you've got to ask yourself is why are you getting out in the first place? Are you just going out to get photos or are you planning ahead? Are you looking for that epic location? Or are you just going out for the exercise, the fresh air and just enjoying yourself? There we go. So some random foxglove, or well, I think it's foxglove, right in the middle of the forest. Is this going to make a good photo? Probably not. Can I see the composition? No, I can't. No other flowers to be seen. That's just a really bit random if you ask me. Anyway, um, compositionally, not really looking the greatest because it's such a random location. I mean, that might make an interesting image. Um, get up close to it and blur out the background. So let's get this one in the foreground. I have these ones in the background. Not the greatest photo in the world. Fox glove is not my friend today. Yeah, I'm not happy with it. I see that we've got a little patch of uh, fox glove growing there. It's interesting. Okay, so that was some fox glove randomly in the middle of the forest. So, yeah, as I was saying, not the end of the world to come out and not get an image at all or it's not the end of the world if you don't come out and get a location for a future shoot that's the point in location scouting is you're supposed to be looking for locations that you're going to use in the future oh we're in a no one knows how about that Leave bows here. Hopefully I don't get shot. Huh. What do you know? It's a bit of fungus here. Okay, so just playing around with the angles, seeing what looks good whether coming from above or below. Um, as you can tell, it's quite restrictive in placement of where it is, so you kind of have to play with what's there. I 
love it. It's grown around this tree trunk. This uh, branch is coming off, although this is pretty much dead now. So, use an app called Shroomify pretty much identifies most mushrooms. You have to do a little bit of work yourself though. I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to go bigger than your hand, isn't it? It's orange. I'm sure I'd say it's that one. Chicken of the woods. That's pretty accurate, I think. Yeah. Ah, there you go. So... Seasonal observations, April to probably November. Just over here. Um, let's go up here, look. Just there. I'm not sure what that is. But we're going to have a look quickly. Ah. Ah. Um, no. Completely wrong because that. Yeah, no. That's expanding foam. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, head back to the car. So I always find it interesting when you come to places like this of the stuff you find just growing. And you can see that. Now I don't know whether that's been stuffed in there it looks pretty green. But it's growing in the ground, so I don't know whether that has been stuffed in there or if it's been growing like that. But that's pretty cool. I'll just grab an image of that. I know it's probably not going to look very interesting, but it's a bit unusual, isn't it? I don't want to whack a polarizer on there, but... What is it Jeff Goldblum says? Nature has a way. Nature finds a way. Just an overground shot of that. So yeah, so... I mean, it could be that it's attached to this, maybe. Whoa. Gotta be the clumsiest person in the world. So, yeah, so to sum up, I guess it's all about getting out there. No matter how many times it takes to find your composition, or your location and uh, just enjoy the process because one day you're not going to be able to whether that be age ability or the fact that we're all going to be dead one day oh god that sounds depressing but we are and uh, yeah gonna want it back. Look at this piece. Oh god. Every time I go somewhere I find something new. Look at that piece of bark. Look how cool that looks. But not today. So if you've made it this far into the video, thanks for watching. 
and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.